What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all, y'all peep the fresh cut. It was a while since I got a haircut. I was just super busy. But we're going to be working on the hatch today. We're just going to tackle it head on. I got to get rid of all the interior stuff that's in the way just because I want to get it nice and clean. So when we do the case swap, we don't have to come back and do it again. Might as well just do it once, do it right. And uh, we're going to try to be organized about it. Let's go to outside to the hatch. You want to go to the gym? Nice rainy day out here in sunny San Diego. <laughs> what the hell? It was raining and it's cold, but we still gotta get this working. This is the problem with removing the dashboard. I have nowhere to put it. So uh, we're just probably gonna put it on the roof while we work inside. So for today's job, in order to stay organized, we're gonna be using Ziploc bags. And uh, I stole these from my mom, but I'm gonna buy a box because we're gonna need a, a lot of Ziploc bags. Also got a Sharpie because we're going to label each bag with where we get the bolts from, such as all the bolts that are going to belong to this AC system. We're going to put it bolts for AC system or heater core or whatever you call it. Just label it however you can remember where the bolts belong. In the last video, I had asked if I should keep this. Thank you to the homie Jim. He let me know that I basically won't need it which was what I was thinking of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. But we're mainly gonna focus on removing this black thing, which is the heater core or the AC system or what. My question is, do I still need everything on that side? I wanna find a diagram that tells me what every single like bunch is. I am staying uh, with the stock RSX non-type SCCU. I don't know about the future engine, but as of right now, we're just gonna, we're still with the stock non RSX, non type S RSX ECU. So uh, let me know if I need anything over there. I wanna minimize the setup to only the things that I need in order to run a K swap and have it as a street car. We're just gonna go ahead and start unbolting any bolt that we see, such as these bolts up here, this right here, whatever's under, under. This is what I wanna take care of today. I removed all of the bolts. We do have some movement. This is one of those situations where I'm like, maybe I shouldn't remove this, or maybe I don't need to remove any of this. Well, it's already in the plans that I want to remove this. There is some bolts. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can probably remove like this portion first, and then this portion, and then go to this portion, which I will go ahead and try out right now, but I'm still gonna just try to see if I can move it out a little bit more. If not, we'll start disassembling it even further. Got another dilemma. It's only two bolts, one here and one over here. And these basically come apart super easily, which is very funny. But anyways, oh wait, never mind, I was wrong. So we're, so what the heck is this hose then? This hose right here is uh, is something that is keeping us from pulling this thing. Oh wait, we have a bolt right there. Huh. <laughs> we got two bolts right there. Let me take that off and then we'll see what happens. I'm feeling a little bit more confident in what I'm doing. Originally, I thought this hose was this one. I didn't think we were gonna be able to remove it, but it turns out this is just like a little grommet and you just push in these through there, which is where the lines from the compressor connect to the firewall which connects to this now we're gonna go ahead and try to remove this one which we're still gonna have to be dealing with that with that hose situation can't really see him but i'm gonna be doing a little bit more digging around also we got the white alpha bounces on today these are some of my older shoes probably you can tell because of the yellowing but it's raining and i probably shouldn't have worn these it's all wet out here i'm basically just gonna Try to cut out as much as this so we could just pop it in through. This in the future, I'll probably just fill it up with like silicone just to hold it in place. I'm it might be this little bolt. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna unscrew this and see if this makes a difference. It was funny because I just noticed this, but let's see if this does anything. Random little nut and bolt. No way. I just tugged on it and <laughs> let's go see the engine bolt. <laughs> it was 
that little nut right there that was holding all of this in. That definitely makes me feel better. Go ahead and remove it. So we do get some movement, but it's hitting this like, I don't know, steering wheel support system. I don't want to, I don't want to move this, but I guess we're going to have to in order to get this out of the way, which means we're going to do some work on that side that I did not want to do today. But we got to do what we got to do. Removing this was way more than what I wanted to do, but I guess it's okay that we removed it. It was a little bit rusty and maybe we could end up painting this, making it look a lot better. So when we install it back onto the car, it'll be pretty nice. Got this moved out of the way now. <laughs> it's over there. It had some coolant, so we had a little bit of a leak. Um, but went ahead and cleaned that out. And so uh, all that's left is to remove the SRS control. Only thing is now we got to figure out where the heck this line runs to because it just kind of hides behind here and I didn't want to move this. I kind of like this. I feel like it's a extra sound deadening. I want to keep as much sound out of the chassis but this is old. This is crusty. This could probably be hiding rust under so we're just going to have to remove it completely and just have to paint everything which I didn't want to but we're going to have to remove it. See this right here? This little thing was, a, I don't know what if this was the one that was connected to that module thing that I took out, water pin. It's right here. I think if we just pull that out, we'll be able to slide this out and we could just get rid of this. Okay, so we went ahead and removed that. I'm going to keep it all together just in case we need it in the future. But as of right now, I went ahead and removed it. For any of you guys with more info, let me know if I do need that. If not, I think we have everything out. I need <laughs> I'm wondering if I disconnect it completely. I just want to know if disconnecting this completely is going to affect, I guess, the K series with the RSX ECU. Or if it doesn't even matter. Let me know. I guess we're going to call it for now. It's a bit cold out here, guys, but we still got to get this video done. This is all I really wanted to do today. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. You know, it's just a lot of little things that you got to focus on and not like try to stress out like that one random as nut that was holding this together before i go inside figured i'd show you guys steering mount support dashboard heater ac core this is basically what i meant guys just go ahead and label everything however it will help you remember like that we can stay organized it feels nice i feel confident to put everything back together <laughs> i hope that is gonna bring today's video to an end I'm editing right now, and cereal of choice is the Frankenberries. They're all right. They kind of taste like a Captain Crunch. Um, they're kind of like the Halloween special edition. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff. That's the best way you can help me out. My goal right now during Vlogmas is simply get as much done as possible so that the last thing we really only have to do is just put the engine in, plug it in, and the car will basically start. I wanna get all the, the work done that we have to do now. The engine, in theory, is the easy part. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.